Well, as you know, your child has countless influences that shape who they are. One such influence that is at times overlooked is the influence of an elder. To speak on that is Gail Bell, who's with Parenting Power. By the way, if you want to follow along, hashtag Parenting Power. Elders should play a significant role in any child's life. You agree with that? I do. And I know should's not a great word, so have a the possibilities are just wonderful for children. For, Why is it elders. not happening? At least that's the impression that I'm getting that it's not happening. I think it's happening less. It's, it's not that it's not happening. I know my two children have a really strong relationship with my parents and their Nana and Poppy that live in Toronto, but I'll be honest, we work at it. Mm -hmm. it it's, it's, some, it's not something that necessarily just happens. Uh, it's, I, we've got to look at prevailing culture. I mean, we are all busy, Yeah. busy. So. You know, we often talk at Parenting Power, we spend so much time structuring our children's outside life, outside of the home, all the activities, mm. and sometimes we neglect to structure the inside home a little bit more, where when we ask parents, what do you want for your children, we want them to be happy, self-confident people. Well, that doesn't happen out there. That's not the exterior stuff, that's the inside mm -hmm. stuff. That's Self-confidence is in here, and we get that from the home. We get that from the values and the lessons and the learnings and the traditions, and grandparents and or elders are the ones that help us learn that. They're the ones that hold the stories. There's so much learning. The reality of our lives today, though, as you mentioned, they're very busy. We keep mm -hmm. busy, but at the same time, there's distance. Yes. So you have, uh, in your example, uh, grandparents for your mm -hmm. kids who are in Toronto. Yes. You know, I, for my, as an example, have mine in Saskatoon. Now, to drive there is one thing, but to be that connected with such distance, mm -hmm. that is another factor. How do we combat that? Well, that's when technology is a fantastic tool. You know, I have lots to say about the negative effects of technology sure, on children. Sure. But if we use it properly, technology is a fantastic tool. We can be Skyping with, with grandparents. We can be emailing with grandparents. I mean, there's nothing like getting a, a letter in, in the mailbox. But right. I think at this point, parents have to take some responsibility to decide if that's important in your home or no, perhaps not even for you, but is that important for, for your children? And we know that that connection, the research shows, you know, um, prevailing culture and technology is disconnecting family. Mm -hmm. Well, let's turn it around and, and reconnect because kids, are, some kids are lost. We know mental health diseases is, is increasing and children and it, everybody needs a sense of purpose and who are we and where are we from and parent grandparents can really help with that so emailing skyping mm -hmm. uh, all those things are use the technology oh, instant instagram thank you <laughs> all use the technology for purpose right. because it's it's an incredible tool however I do think that the parents have to turn in a bit more and say what are we what are we striving for here what are our values and how can we meet them and make time for that to happen I mean once a month that's 12 times a year and if you schedule it in and make it happen or dinner mm -hmm. schedule it in the parents have to find the value yes. they have to understand that there is value in knowing your grandma and grandpa and even though you may have a disagreement with your grand with your parents mm -hmm doesn't mean that that should spill over into how your kids should feel about their grandma and grandpa. But that seems to happen a lot. And that's part of the reason why I guess, I'm guessing, that a lot of these um, interactions with grandparents are not happening. I think you're because right. Because of that. I think, I think you're right. So that's where we have to be truthful and honest as well. I always believe a conversation can be open with children. And I think the more truthful and honest we're, we're with kids, the more truthful and honest they'll be. So mm -hmm. it's having that conversation, you know. When grandpa does this, I need you to know. It drives me crazy, but that's my problem. That's I let problem. it drive me crazy. Right. And, and, you know, making sure that you're being respectful. And setting kids up for success, you know, if they haven't seen their grandparents in a while, mm. sometimes older people, um, kids aren't comfortable around, so set them up for success. Tell them about things they could ask or things they could talk about and make a little list for them before they get on the phone. Don't mm. say call your grandparents and then they'll be like, uh, yeah, yeah. and you'll be like, talk, What do talk. I say? What do I say? So set them up for success. Yeah. Maybe, you know, spend some time with them about what they could talk about and, and then let it evolve from there. Remember, Day ceremonies were happening yesterday and they were... Uh, there was a, an eclectic group of people, if you will. There was a young and a not so young and a very, very not so young, if right. you will. But what I found fascinating, being at one of the Remembrance Day ceremonies, was seeing all of these uh, veterans, some of them a little older, mm -hmm. with grandkids, holding on to them, explaining what was going on. For me, it was just magical to see that that kind of interaction was actually happening. 
And you're right, there is something very interesting. I'm going to go to your website as well, too, as, as we continue to get that answer. But um, it's important, though, to realize that there is value to learning about your grandparents. Do you know what? There's value, bottom line, if we even dig it further, there's value in that face-to-face -face interaction. And we know that research now. Anytime we can make that face-to-face. -face, and email, if email's the best we can do, let's not beat ourselves up about that. But that, it gives kids a sense of security and right. a, a sense of that they're safe in the world and, and they have a purpose. On the site here, you have everything from sleep and bedtime routines, toilet training, homework, drugs, <laughs> sex, sibling rivalry, everything you want is all here. And here's the website, triple www.parentingpower.ca. Gail, this has been fascinating. Thank you very much for being here this morning. Thanks for having and me. And good luck with the elders and their kids or grandkids. We'll just keep talking about it. There we go. Uh, still to come, safety tips for the holidays. We heard this morning that there was a fire at a place right by Chinook Mall. Could it have been avoided? We'll talk to an expert about that in a few moments. First, here's what's happening in and around Calgary. This is trending on Shaw. Oh, thanks. That was fun.